Today, we're introducing three revolutionary products of this class. The first one is a widescreen iPod with touch controls. The second is a revolutionary mobile phone. And the third is a breakthrough internet communications device. So, three things. A widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications device. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. An iPod, a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. Well, that was Steve Jobs five years ago, June 2007, introducing the iPhone. And look, look what we've got. Oh, look, I was going to try and blow those candles out. So happy birthday, iPhone there. Um, what a Steve Jobs January, I'm sorry. And it went on, it went on sale basically today, five years ago. Um, we have Scott Austin here to talk us through this. Um, it seems so long ago, doesn't it? I mean, it's amazing. A, it's a, an iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. I mean, what phones don't have, you know, all the capabilities that really an iPhone has, maybe not the newest version, but this uh, one in 2007, the uh, five-year uh, introduction uh, to the market uh, is today. Yeah, and, and there it is. And so let, let's go yeah. through the different versions of it. The, the first iPhone, we're looking at a, um, a, a picture of that there, and it went live June 29th, and then and that basically was the, the very basic thing that radicalized things. 250 million units of various versions of it sold, and then it went to the 3G. Yeah, I mean it was amazing when the first one came out. Uh, you know the the connection wasn't very good. Uh, it was AT and T. A lot of the calls went out. Uh, I didn't even have a lot of the features. Sorry, that, can you say that again? No, that, joking. <laughs> didn't have a lot of the features that that's that some of the basic handsets yeah. had at the time. But it was revolutionary. It, it introduced us to the swiping and the double tapping mm. and the pinch and the zoom. And it was just a sexy phone that everyone seemed to want to have. Uh, but I don't think at that time when it launched that it would take off as well as it did, and it would really almost destroy the landscape of the smartphone market as it has. Yeah. Um, so, so, so then, then we then we got the 3G, yeah. and then we got the 3GS, uh -huh. and then we got the iPhone iPhone 4, which every, changed every year, the then. first change of the form factor, right, was, was this one. That's and right. It, when, they ran into a few problems with, with the, this antennae, which runs around the outside, right? Remember yeah, that? it seemed like it was going to be a disaster uh, where, uh, you know, people, uh, the calls just wouldn't go through and then the antenna was a problem. People would, as you held the phone, you couldn't get the signal. Mm. Um, but they, they gave you a, a fix on that. Steve Jobs was, you know, a little defensive uh, at the time. Uh, but it turns out, um, you know, people didn't really seem to care and they moved on. And now... It, Nobody the, cares. Well, this business, it's 58% of their revenue. And, and, and uh, the iPhone business, I think it generates about $23 billion. It's bigger than uh, Coca-Cola, Walt Disney, some and, big companies. And, <laughs> so, so just that business. $150 billion yeah. in revenue over those five over those years, five years uh, yeah. for, for this phone. I mean, I, um, a quarter of a billion units. Yeah, someone said today, someone tweeted that uh, there are more phones being sold every day than there are uh, babies being born worldwide. I don't know if that's true, but that's an amazing stat if that's the case. Um, but even more important than this, I mean, look what it's done to, to some of the companies, some smartphone companies. Uh, you know, obviously we saw RIM. We'll talk about that uh, in a little mm -hmm. bit. But, uh, you know, Research in Motion, um, the BlackBerry maker uh, is pretty much dying uh, yesterday saying that its launch of the next BlackBerry is, is going to be uh, after the holiday selling season. Um, its stock is way down. No Nokia uh, is in a desperate move to tie in with uh, Microsoft. So, you know, Apple came out with this device, and in five years, it's really changed the face of smartphones. 
Jones and, and destroyed some companies in its path. It, re it really has, and it's it's um, it's been great for Apple, but not not so good news if you're on the receiving <laughs> end of it. 